everyone, how are you? Hope you are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about what happens in relax, reflex action. Okay. Let's see. Reflex is a word we use very commonly. We have. Uh, reflex is a word. We use very commonly when we talk about some sudden action in response to something in the environment. Okay, uh, it means reflex is a um, reflex uh, is a common word. Okay, that we use in talking about this, um, sudden action in response to something in our uh, in the environment. Okay, we say. I jumped out of the way of the bus reflexly, or I pulled my I pulled my hand back for the from the plane reflexly. Okay. Or I was so hungry, my mouth started uh, watering reflexly. Okay. So. Uh, these are some uh, examples. Okay. What exactly do we mean? What is uh, what we what do actually do we mean? A common idea in all such examples is that we are doing something without uh, thinking about it or uh, without feeling it control of our reaction okay it means uh, in uh, all the events uh, all these example okay is that we uh, we do something without thinking okay without thinking about it okay like uh, if we are hungry i was so hungry my mouth started watering okay reflexly so if we are hungry, then it is true that our mouth started watering. Okay, we can't uh, stop this. Okay. So this is all this thing that uh, is uh, so all this thing that. Uh, we do without thinking about it, okay, or without feeling in control of our reaction. Yet these are situations where where we are responding with some actions to change in the environment, okay. So uh, these are situations where we respond with some actions to change in our changes in our environment how is control and coordination achieved in such situation and here is the question that how control and coordination achieve in this type of situation let's see let us consider this further take one of uh, take one of our example touching a plane is an urgent and dangerous situation for us or in fact for any animal how would we respond to it take one of our example like uh, touching a flame is a very dangerous for us very dangerous situation for us okay or uh, in fact for any animals also how we do how we respond to this? So here is a question that how we respond to it. Our seemingly a one seemingly simple way is to think uh, consciously, consciously about the pain and the poss possibility of getting burnt. And therefore, move your hand. Okay. 
so our responsible uh, response is that uh, um, we think uh, carefully about the pain and uh, the possibility that uh, the possibility of getting burned okay and we uh, we will we we move our hands hand okay okay an important question then uh, is how long will it take us to think all this so uh, here is one more question that uh, and so is more uh, important question that uh, how long uh, will it think us to will it, uh, sorry will it take us to think think all this the answer depends on how we think okay so the answer will totally depend depend on us that how we think okay if uh, uh, nerve impulse are sent nerve impulses are sent around the way we have talked about earlier then thinking is also likely to involve the creation of such impulses okay uh, if nerve impulses are sent around the way we had talked about earlier then uh, thinking is also uh, also likely to involve the creation of such impulses and uh, thinking is also likely uh, sorry thinking is also likely to uh, also involve the creation of such impulses okay thinking is a complex activity so it is bound to involve a complicated interaction of many nerve impulses for many neuron okay so thinking is a also thinking is a complex activity okay so uh, it is it is bonded to involve the complicated interaction of many nerve impulses for many neuron if this is the case if this is the case it is no surprise that uh, uh, that the thinking tissue in our uh, body consists of dense network of intricately to ar uh, arranged neurons okay it is no surprise that the thinking tissue in our body consists of denser network of intricately arranged arranged neurons okay it is not surprised that the thinking tissue in our body is not uh, is consist of the denser uh, dense network of neurons okay we all know that thinking tissue in our body is consist of dense network of it sits in uh, in a forward end of the skull and receives signals from from all over the body which it think about before responding then okay and uh, it sits uh, in the forward end uh, in the forward end of skull skull and uh, receives signal from all over the body parts okay which think which think about the responding to them so that they think about the responding yeah obviously uh, in the, in order to receive these signals this thinking part of the brain is a skull must be connected to nerves coming from various part of the body in a 
in the order to receive these signals we have these signals to receive these signals this thinking sorry to receive these thick signals this thinking part of the brain is skull okay and uh, must skull must be connected to nerves coming from the various part of the body okay and uh, skull is connected from a uh, uh, nerve that come from all the parts of our body okay various part of our body and uh, these signals are received by uh by the uh, thinking part of this thinking part of brain that is the skull okay similarly if this part of the brain is to is to instruct uh, muscles to move nerves must carry the signals back to different parts of the body uh, similarly if this part of the brain is to instruct muscles to move nerves must carry the signals back to the different parts of the body and this signals carry back uh, carry this signal back to different parts of the body if all of these is to be done when we touch a hot object if sorry it may it may take enough time for us to get burn okay so uh, if uh, all uh, of these is to be done when uh, we touch a hot object it uh, may it uh, may take maybe take enough time to enough time to get burn okay how does the design of uh, the body solve the, this problem there is a question that uh, how does the design of the body solve this problem rather than uh, having to think about the sensation of heat if the nerve if the nerves that uh, detect heat were to be connected to the nerves that move muscle uh, that move muscles in a simpler way okay think about it think about the sensation of heat uh sensation of heat uh, uh, if the nerve if the nerves that detect the heat okay we have to be connected to the nerves that come that uh, moves muscles in a simpler way okay it is uh, we all know that the nerve uh, that detect heat okay we have to be connected to the nerves that to uh, moves muscles in a simpler way the process to detecting the uh, signal or input and responding to it by any output action might be completed quickly so uh, this process of detecting the signals or input responding and response responding responding to it uh, by any output action might be completely quickly so the action is the output action might be completely quickly okay such a connection is uh, commonly called a reflex reflex arc so this type of connections known as reflex arc okay where should uh, such reflex or uh, connection uh, connection be made between the input nerves and the output nerves so 
So it's a question that uh, where should such reflex are connections uh, connections the, uh, be made between the input and output nerves? The best place of course would be at the point where they first meet each other. Okay, the best place where they meet first time. Okay, to each other. Nerves form uh, all over the body meet in bundle in the spinal cord on their way to the brain. Okay. Nerves form all over the uh, body meets in spine uh, meets in a bundle in the spinal cord. Okay. So uh, all the all the nerves okay of uh, our body parts meet in the bundle of meet in a <coughs> bundle of the spinal cord cord to uh, uh, on on the way to the brain reflex arc are found in the this spinal cord itself also the information input also goes on to reach the brain and the input to information on uh, on also goes to the brain okay reach the brain and uh, reflex are so formed in uh, this spinal cord itself of course reflex are have uh, involved in animals because the thinking process of the brain is not fast enough so uh, reflex arcs uh, have involved in uh, animals because the thinking power, uh, the thinking process of the brain is not fast enough. In fact, many animals have very little or none of the complex net neuro, uh, sorry, neuron, neuro, neuron network needed for thinking, and some animals have. Uh, little or even uh, none of the complex network of uh, neuron yeah, neuron okay needed for thinking so it is uh, quite likely that reflex art have involved as efficient uh, efficient way ways of functioning in the absence of true through processes okay so uh, it is uh, quite likely that uh, reflex art have involved as insufficient, sorry, inefficient, inefficient ways, uh, ways of functioning in the absence of true process. Okay, true tough, tough process. However, uh, even uh, after complex neuron networks have come uh, come into existence reflex are continued to be more efficient for quickly responsible so here is a figure of reflex art okay okay so this one is the figure of reflex art so here you can see that uh, this one is not container okay so uh, receptor are present in Okay. The receptor is present. And this one is our effector, and this one is receptor. Okay. Uh, with the help of sensory, uh, sensory neuron, neuron, it uh, comes here. Okay. And uh, due effector and uh, that is present in muscle and arm, okay. With the help of uh, motor neuron, it comes in the spinal cords, okay. And meet here, here the uh, sensory neuron and uh, motor neuron meet together, okay. So this one is our relay neuron. After that, it goes 
message to the brain okay so this one is a figure of reflex path so i hope you understand uh, that uh, what happens in the reflex action okay so i hope you understand can you know with the uh, sequence of even with the uh, occurs in a bright light is focus on your eyes There is a question. Okay, so I hope in next video we will discuss about new brain. So that how are these tissues protected from the tissue polymerization? So that polymerization in plants. So I hope you understand. Till here. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.